you and welcome to Talk to Topper program of Wikipedia Learning Platform. This is Rajesh Vinay. As Alex Daniel said, no matter how far you have come, there is always a room to grow. And today we have Mr. Pravin with us, who has done his graduation, post graduation, PhD, and now he is doing his post doctoral from IIT Bombay. And he is here to share his experience and journey with us. So let's welcome Mr. Pravin. Hello, sir. How are you? Ah, uh, fine. Very uh, sorry, I am doing good. And uh, I think uh, you guys are doing great for, uh, by five PDF. So it will be, I think it will be a good experience for me also to connect to you guys and uh, share yes, my experience. Thank you, sir. It's our pleasure to have you here. So please tell us about yourself. Uh, uh, so uh, actually my name is Praveen Kumar and I am from a small town that is uh, named as Bokaro. It is also named as a Bokaro Steel City. So actually my father was working there in a uh, Bukhara steel plant. So he actually used to tell us some story about Delhi he come by motivating and he used to tell some story about his plant and that this machine is working like that, this, that. So that pushed me toward this uh, actually in the field of mechanical. And that has motivated me to join for the mechanical engineering. So I uh, joined a private uh, engineering college that named as High Tech Institute of Engineering and Technology. It was located in Gajabar. So from there, I have done my BTEC. And after that, um, doing uh, BTEC, I was actually preparing for the uh, preparing for my uh, some PSUs. So I uh, I have uh, done some uh, preparation for that. And finally, uh, I can't able to get to the PSUs, but definitely I got an IIT for doing my masters. So I pursued uh, my masters in manufacturing technology uh, from NIT Agartala. And after that, I get some means experience in the research in my master's. So I was very enthusiastic to get somewhere uh, in IITs for my PhD. So I uh, worked hard to get in the IIT. So finally, after one and a half year, I uh, joined IIT Indore for my PhD. And after that, I was trying to continue for my research work. So after that, I joined here at uh, IIT Bombay as a research, uh, as a research postdoctor was my actually academic uh, kind of uh, introduction. Okay, and how you made it possible to IIT? Uh, actually, it was uh, really a difficult job for me. I will not say that I easily got that because uh, at starting after completion of the masters, I have gone to a different IIT for the interviews, but as the number of candidates day by day it is getting into, so it is getting tougher to get inside the uh, to crack the IIT for PhD also. So almost you can think about that for one uh, one post the, uh, for any lab, there will be around more than 100 candidates for that one particular post. So my experience was that, that at IIT Indore, uh, there were uh, there was almost uh, four of us were recruited for as a uh, PhD student. So at that time, almost uh, 400 students has came for the interview. So it was really tough and day by day it is getting tougher. So how if you have a particular uh, such as a uh, motto that uh, we are going to have a, a particular project that we are going to work in this field or this particular section, then definitely you can crack the interview. That is the main part. So this was actually uh, the, my journey to get inside the IIT Indore for my PhD. Okay, and what was the questions for interview and how did you prepare for that? Ha, huh, that is the major issue. So I have told you that almost one and a half year I have tried to get inside the IIT. So what happened that starting from the IIT Rurki, IIT Kharagpur, and after that IIT Jodhpur. So everywhere actually I got selected for the in the written test, but uh, I was not able to get inside uh, or crack that interview. So I tried to find out that what are the actual drawbacks where I'm getting stuck in that. So I have seen that uh, I, have, I after that analyzing. I've, found that I am, uh, I don't, I'm lacking some specific goal, actually that approach to that, what I'm going to do in the, uh, for my PhD work. So after that, I try to frame out that, that in what field I have to work is specific in the manufacturing or what will be the new in that. So after preparing that, uh, when I came to IIT Indore and when I get to select, uh, get uh, selected for, uh, for in the return. So during the interview, they have asked me that, um, that in which field you are going to work. So at that time, I was too much ready for that. And I specifically, I have added that I want to work in the manufacturing, in micro machining, in additive manufacturing, and these particular things I want to do. So that helped me 
and also uh, made the professor convinced that ha he is now ready and definitely we can have him in our lab so some specific uh, specific goal you should have for that okay and what are the challenges you have faced during your phd Ah, uh, really? That is a uh, very nice question. Actually, see, I will tell you the challenges in three different uh, means, uh, steps in that uh, particular PhD program. So, starting it will in three different phases, such as in starting. Starting, you have the issue that what will be the topic, research topic, or what will be the research gap to find itself that research gap. Only it is a difficult challenge, or means you can a difficult process. So that is the first one. Secondly, once you have decided that, ha, huh, okay, this is the gap we are going to work in that. So after one or two year after working hard, at one point there will be that when you will be not sure that my results are coming good or not. Okay, my things will be published or not. So at that time you will feel somewhat means uh, depressed that okay, I don't know that how my work is going to help the society like that. So at that time you might uh, try to shift it that okay, I will go something different or like that. so that is the confusion point so one if you cross that point that ha huh, no no i am doing good okay i am uh, getting some good result once you cross that definitely uh, the things will be become more easier so this is the second phase where you will face the problem and third is the at the last when you come up with that uh, okay your results and all you are going to publish your papers so ha uh, huh, where to publish they and many rejections also you get from the publishers so that is the third part so three different at uh, three different means steps of the phd you will have different challenges in that okay and what is the difference between iit indore and iit bombay <laughs> ah yeah definitely there is uh, lots of difference but ha huh, in uh, perspective if i tell, if i tell about the research work so i have not found that much of the difference in the research work but the thing is that here the campus is completely means established almost seven decades the people have passed out and lots of things are means all the things are very much ready with here so which we are lacking there in the new campus of the iit indoor but ha uh, still iit indoor i will say that the things have been improved too much almost uh, there also i think it is the second decade which is going on so lots of things are done uh, so not too much difference in that case of academics but uh, obviously regarding the, the campus facilities and all definitely there are difference okay and when did you exactly decide to do post doctoral ha huh, that is also a good question actually <laughs> so see actually what is happening that after phd there is a challenge that now what you are going to do so that has to be also be very much specific here also there are the means, uh, opportunities for you if you can go for the industries or you can go for the uh, post doctoral program or you want to join the uh, academics or the teaching or in the engineering college or like that so actually the thing was that i was uh, focusing on that uh, in my research part that how can i improve my skills further so that has led me to decide for go for the post doctoral program Again, what are the suggestions you wants to give us to the aspirants who want to join higher studies or who want to join PhD or who want to do post doctoral? Hmm hmm hmm. Definitely. See, actually, I will like to suggest that two three things are may something major in the life. First of all, that if you want to go for the PhD or like that, so it is what it is a time taking process, and moreover, you are at the peak of your life, such as in your career life, such as. if you are entering in the age of 25 or 27 it will take you up to the 30 when you are going to complete so you have to very much concrete about that that ha huh, yeah i am ready now i am i will do for phd many of them uh, left or quit the phd after 2 to 3 years that is okay it is very time taking so you have to prepare for that now okay that it will take time and definitely i will be going for the phd so there is something concrete you should have this is the first thing second once you if you are trying to go for the phd or post doc definitely you should have some initial research work on that or you can read the papers that ha huh, in this page i in this field i will go to uh, uh, do my research and like that so you have to be prepared for that definitely it is going to help you uh, many different ways and thirdly whatever you are doing definitely you have to believe on yourself that ha huh, it will be done and i can do that so these are the things which i will like to suggest to students and now how is iit life going on ha uh, yeah, iit life definitely i will say that here something 
in iits even in indore also i have seen and here also in bombay i have seen means means whatever the people you are going to meet there is lot of energy within them and the basic difference i have seen in the uh, such as my btech i was comparing that in the btech uh, some private college and here at iit what is the difference the difference is that in the student who are nearby whatever whoever you are going to stay with that they means they have lots of energy they are trying to means improve themselves and they are working on themselves and moreover not only on the education they are means very much keen about some their hobbies and all they are maintaining their life very well so you will be getting motivated by seeing them so that is the major thing which i am seeing the difference or major thing which i have found in the iit and the definitely the life is very much you can have some of your hobbies also with your academics and many facilities are even there from sports to dance clubs to lots of things lots of facilities are there so you can improve your definitely okay and anything else you want to share Hi uh, yeah uh, I will like to thanks to Fipedia team definitely you guys are doing great and I will uh, tell to my audience that uh, you guys should come to and join or you have to be connected with the Fipedia app so that you can get motivated and definitely you can find lots of le learning uh, things in this uh, app so you can definitely uh, join Fipedia Okay Thank you for sharing your experience and journey with us. This will definitely help too many students who are going to join higher study and who want to join higher studies. Thanks, Ayesh. Sorry, definitely, definitely, it will also. It has given me good time to share my little bit of experience which I have gained during this time of period. Thanks for that. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching this amazing session. See you in the another topper. You can download our FI PDF from Play Store. for gate mppsc test series and many more things which will help you to boost your preparation and it will also help you to check your progress thank you